So what we need going to do now is create some assets to kind of fill up that space. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my character again as reference. So file, link, uh, my characters, DD character library, group, Oscar. So I've got my character now. I'm going to press go, press five to go into orthographic mode and one to go into front view. I'm going to right click on my cube and I'm going to select tab. So what I'm going to do first is create a cart. So let's go into front view and I'm going to just size it into the correct shape I want. And to me, I'm going to, yeah, that seems pretty good like that. Now, when I import this object into the next file, the center point will be the center point of the object, uh, the center point of oh, center. How do I explain that? So the origin, sorry. Yes, the origin is going to be at zero, zero. So no matter where I save it, no matter if, it, even if I move the origin now all the way up here, when I save it and go to uh, import it into the next file, it'll make the origin at the center here. So that's just something to be mindful of. So I'm going to control Z on that one. And what we're going to do, how should we approach this? So we kind of want this all to be boards. If I do, I mean, we can do the simple. Yeah, let's, let's go simple. Why not? So we've got four boards. Okay. And what I'm going to do is edge loop these ones and actually no let's rip these ones first so, so let's make all these faces um separate objects so i'm going around selecting them all and if i press v it will not let me that's annoying so i'm gonna have to do it individually i'll select v on this oops Select that whole face, V. 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 Um, I think I need to do it on these ones as well. V. 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 And V. So this, what this means is, if I select this, for instance, and I go control L, I only get that face, which is exactly what I want. What we're going to do now is I'm going to select these um, edges here. I'm gonna do a control B and I'm just gonna move ever so slightly. Delete, delete faces. And what I'm going to do now is select all the faces, extrude, Let's just extrude it out a little bit. And so now we've kind of got these boards happening. Okay, beautiful. Now we can also kind of mess them up a little bit just for funds if you want. And I can just, if I go into front mode, G, Z, and kind of, we can just kind of crooken them up a little bit. G, Z. I mean, it is only a 2D cartoon, but it all depends how pedantic you want to go. And it's got this kind of cool effect. I'm pretty happy with that. I might do one more. And now technically, because it is only 2D, we don't actually really, I can get rid of this face because we don't really need it. Let's um, get rid of these faces because we've got these faces here so we can duplicate. Um, the end of the cart we can get rid of. Uh, let's keep Control B, 
delete faces. And how about we kind of get rid of these ones? And while we're at, let's just get rid of these. <laughs> I'm going to select all these faces, Control L, and I'm going to Shift D Y. And so now we've kind of got this cart happening. I think that the cart might be a little bit too wide. I'm only going to narrow it. I mean, in the day, it's still like a 2D cartoon, but if you do want to move into 3D, um, you know, we're getting the fundamentals there. I'm going to select this side, Shift D, rotate 90. Let's go size on the Y. I'm going to bring up the end panel and select, put it into the middle of the Y axis, which is the green arrow, zero. And let's just move it to there, size Y. Yeah. That is fine to me. Let's create a wheel. So shift A, circle. We could probably go cylinder. Um, rotate on the x-axis, 90, G, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, size Y, and faces, delete those faces. Uh, technically, I should be able to just go extrude, I pressed extrude and then left click to kind of not change the size and then press S to scale. And there we have it. I'm going to add an edge loop. So this is the edge of the wheel. And then this is the interior of the wheel. And then what we might do, mm, so it's 32, 32 times doesn't go into three, goes into fours. Mm, if I do one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Delete faces. Um, let's get rid of this line because what we're going to do now is I'm going to select all this, extrude, and there we have a wheel. What I will do though as well, is I'm gonna do a control R, what did I do that? So let's do a control R and let's have a look. What number should we go on? 0.8 minus, I might as well do the other side as well, even though we're not seeing it. Control R, left click, 0.8 minus. And then we're gonna just kind of uh, grow this wheel a little bit. Size Y, just to give it some depth. And we'll do the same for this one, 0.8. 0.8 and select these two, size Y, okay, and what we will do as well is we'll add the bevel modifier all the way down, one, two, three, and on the angles. It is not looking very circle-ish, but I mean, we can kind of get away with it, but if you really wanted to, is to smooth the faces, but then we kind of get this weird look, but we can up the amount of segments. Yeah, that'll work. Good enough. Um, cool, let's go with that. The next bit is, is we've got to kind of make the tube. So I'm just going to shift D to select that circle, extrude, 
size, face, control L, control N to flip that normal. And this is going to be kind of like a hub. Oops, size extrude on the Y. And there we have it. We've got a bit of a hub now. Oops, select all that. Control L, G, Y. Um, now, technically, technically, you're not going to have the cart, uh, the axle going through there. So, what we can do is we can select all this. Select all this. No, I actually got to select everything, don't I? B, B, Control L, G, Y, Z. So if anything, it should be sitting on top of the wheel. Which looks a bit ridiculous. So Control L, I'm going to scale the wheel down a little bit. Bring it back down. Grab all this stuff, Control L. Grab all this stuff, Control L. Oh my goodness, Control L. There we go. Down. Um, I think what we should do is get rid of this top layer. Control L. I actually like that top layer. Ah, he gets delete vertices. Okay. And then one last thing to do. Actually, a few last things to do. Control L. Let's bring that all the way in. Shift D Y. I can now do size Y minus one and that flips it and do control N to flip those normals. And so now we've got this cart. Um, the only things that are missing are some handles. So I'm going to select, actually I might just select that whole area. Shift D. Let's move it out. Size Z. Size X. Okay. And then he's got kind of handholds there that sit on the outside and we'll do the same. Let's bring it on the other side, shift D Y. I mean, even though he's not really going to be carting it around, but still, that doesn't look too bad. So let's just give it a new material. We'll call this wood. I'll we'll call it wood one because I got a feeling we're going to have a little bit more wood. Um, and about there, that looks nice. And remember to change that viewport color settings. We're going to select all, assign. And there we have it. So if we go into material mode, still not very deaf. So I think what we're going to have to do is a control R, left click, right click. Control R, left click, right click, click. A control R, left click, right click. And control R, left click, right click. And what I'm going to do is select this, select this, this, this. Let's go to the other side, this, and this new material, metal. And let's go a bit of a silver, a sign. And there we have it. Um, I think just to finish off, I know I'm being pedantic now, control L. I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit. Looks a little bit too much, maybe that way. And what we're gonna do is because we're gonna tilt it so if I do rotate X 2.5, rotate Z 2.5, kind of, that's how, that's how our card's gonna look like. So Alt R to reset that. And let's start on the next bit as well.